So wait, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do if he comes out and just like he denies it? Let's say he comes out and denies it. He can't deny it. Um, there's no way he, he there he can't deny. It. What he can do is he'll he'll probably um I exact I know exactly what situation he's probably gonna bring up. Um and it makes me sad that he's gonna do that. But I I mean I get it. He he feels like he has to defend himself. Um and that's okay. That's okay, but he's not gonna deny it. He's gonna just try to tell his part of it. Um, and he'll deflect. That's exactly what it is. He'll deflect. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I mean, again, like I get it. I get it. He's in a defensive mode. Um, but I just, I, I don't like that he's gonna use this situation against me because it's, it's, it's just. What situation? Not... I don't know what situation are you talking about, baby. Hmm? <sighs> oh my god. Um, what situation is he gonna use so against you, baby? When we, when we first got married, I. Uh-huh. Um, I went out with some women I had just met, but I felt, and see, once again, I relinquished trust way too quickly, but I, I felt like everyone, every, I thought every woman lived by like girl code. Like if you, if you come together, you leave together. Um, if you go to the bathroom, you make sure that they're safe. Um, but these women didn't live by that exact code and we were all drinking and I sometimes, and this is why I don't drink. This is why I don't like to drink often because I know sometimes I have a hard time like understanding like, okay, now is when you stop. Um, and I learned this in college. It was bad. I used to black <laughs> out all the time, which is, and I did, I thought it was normal because I used to do it so often. People are like, I know that's not normal. And I'm like, what? And that's when I just learned to stop drinking. Um, but I, we were out and I was um, really just keeping up with everybody else. Everybody else was like, oh, I'm going to go to drink. I'm like, yeah, give me one too. Um, and I blacked out. And uh, within an hour, I was at a random bar with some random guy and I came to and i remember yelling at this man no i'm married i'm married but i remember him just following me around a lot and um at around like 2 30 in the morning jared gets off of work and he's like and i'm coming to pick you up and i i made sure i actually looked at these text messages uh yesterday because i was downward spiraling <laughs> and um he's like and i'm coming to get you and i was like okay okay but I, I i remember trying to send him my location but i ended up sending him his contact information and that's just like how drunk i was um, but when he came to get me, this guy had the nerve to say like, oh no, bro, she's good. And I'm surprised Jared didn't punch him in the face then. But, uh, Jared was like, all right, we gotta go. And at this point I'm belligerently drunk, like mm. belligerently drunk. And, uh, I remember saying, oh, wasn't it nice that that guy was checking on me? And Jared looked at me like, I don't know if you don't shut the fuck up. And then, and then I was like, <laughs> oh, I need to check on the girls. And then he got even more upset with me. He was like, why are you checking on these women who aren't checking on you? And then I blacked out again. But the next morning I woke up and the shower curtain was broken because apparently I'd fallen into the tub. Like it was just a hot ass mess. And Jared was like, Ayanna, you don't know what was happening with you and this guy. And I was like, no, nothing happened. Like I know nothing happened. Cause I remember pushing him off saying, no, I'm married, I'm married. And I remember telling him like, I'm also concerned about my behavior too. I never want to repeat. And I never repeated it again. But I was like, I never want to repeat that again. But I realized in retrospect, me expressing how concerned I also was made him feel like he, um, it, well, not even that he felt invalidated and like I shut him down. And, uh, but the weird part is I went and I looked back at our text messages and he texted me saying like, I just need last night to never happen again. And I remember in, in the text message, I, I saw it and I said, that will never happen again. I promise you, this is not a repeated behavior. That was a that was a one time incident. I will never drink that much again. I'm a tiny person. I have to just be honest about that. Um, and uh, and then he sent me a kissy face, but then he didn't bring it up again until a year later when I asked for a divorce and we were in. Uh, I asked mm-hmm. my therapist for a couple more sessions and I said I just want to make sure like we cl- have some closing out sessions, make sure we're coping well, making sure you know everything's good. And um, that's when he decided to bring it up. And I was very confused. And I was like, why are you bringing this up a year late? He was like, well, you shut me down. I never want to talk about it again. And I was like, okay. I was like, well, I apologize. Like, I never want that. To, like, I don't want you to feel like I, you know, I shut you down like that. That's not okay. Um, so I know he's probably going to talk about that. But again, I still feel bad for that situation because I know that must have freaked him out. And we were, I mean, it was the beginning of our marriage. Um, I don't know. Look, I don't, I don't think it's I don't think it's that bad, but, you know. I don't, look, that's literally the but only I, thing that. Mm, that's fair enough. I don't think that's anything bad. So there's there's no. I just want to make it clear so that because you know what's happened. The blogs. Oh, the blogs I, never I never cheated. I never cheated. I never cheated. I never would. Never emotionally. 
Never micro cheated. Never emotionally. Never micro cheated. And I wouldn't. I never emotionally cheated. Never physically cheated. Never entertained anyone else. He'll say that I was entertaining that guy that night, but I. I don't know, but I know that's probably what he's going to bring up, which makes yeah. me really sad. Which makes me really that's sad. Um, and then he'll probably say I didn't support him enough. Um, I wasn't patient enough. But that still doesn't um, give us. I was hypercritical. Cheap. Look. Look. Wait, just okay, wait, sorry, just so just make it very clear. So I, I want to make it how long into the marriage did the cheating happen? Uh we were oh, you know the funny part you wanna know the funny part? You wanna know the funny part? Is I remember just um five months into our marriage, I remember I was obsessively having this thought, like I feel like I'm gonna get a text message, I feel like I'm gonna get an email because I started to see that he had discipline issues and issues with self control. And so I knew I knew what that led to. And I was like, I just feel mm. like I'm gonna get something. And it was a, it was literally three days before after the altar was filming. And that was probably nine to ten months into our marriage mm. when it was revealed to me that he he cheated around the time that the show aired. Yeah, so yeah yeah so by the time the show by the time we get to watch the show mm. that's when you find out uh, you cheated. no yeah I, well around the time uh, it was a little bit after the reunion when i found out that he cheated but he cheated uh the beginning of when the show first aired god damn yeah so i'm guessing the woman like she said she saw my picture in our home she knew my address she knew my apartment number um she had a picture of her friend and jared's t-shirt in our living room yeah and i got it via email via email man literally wait 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 wait, wait 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 what the hell wait 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 what wait 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 yeah. now i know yana you gotta go soon but listen this this sorry wait before you do because wait 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 what do you mean she knew all of this information, like she's out here scoping the territory. What do you mean she knew all this stuff? I'm so, so confused. He, How did she know? He brought her to our home. He brought her and her friend to our home. Threesomes? I don't know. Look, I don't know what his intention was. Um, I don't. They didn't have sex, but they were kissing and groping each other in our bed. And it wasn't until his her her friend was in the bathroom, saw some of my things, and was like, "Do you have a girlfriend?" And he drunkenly said, "I have a wife." And they said, "Oh, we gotta go, we gotta go." Yeah. It's not looking yeah. good, bruv. Yeah. I can't believe that. And he gaslit the hell out of me after the, after the, but you know what? I don't, I don't want to, I want to speak poorly on the man. I don't want to speak poorly. No, no, on you're, the not, man. Baby, you're not, baby, you're not, no, 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 you're not even speaking poorly, baby. You're not, you're telling the truth and you're allowed to do that. Yeah. Listen, I'm, I know exactly how you're feeling when you want to cover somebody, right? Cause I, I'm in the same person, mm -hmm. but the, the truth is the truth. 